Sorry for that. Sorry for that abrupt end there. But like I said, I would not be surprised if we get Sonny and Sally back together by, if not at 275, if he doesn't go in the direction of ending the whole world crisis shattering story arc that we're in right now by then. I would not be surprised, folks. I would not be surprised. But that's just my opinion. Um, I do see, though, some influences from the fan world. Because with 261 and that side story and Tails being paired off with Nicole and the interaction they had, I'm not going to be surprised, just my opinion, but I won't be surprised if he does take a page out of the fandom and possibly does a Tails and Nicole pairing. Now, you might say that's impossible. He said he never would do that. Yeah. Uh, one thing about Ian Flynn, with all due respect to the guy, how many times has he said he's not going to do something and yet he still does it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's kind of like, he's kind of like what the WWE is trying to do lately. You see, last week, no one saw Seth Rollins turning on the shield. It was like, bam, just came out of nowhere and it got people talking. Right? It got people talking. So to me, so to me, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to say one thing and then he does another. That's what Ian Flynn's trying to do. He says one thing and then he does another. So to me, I think he's going to probably do this. He's just not going to come out and say it just yet. Um, but believe me, there are going to be some romances in this new soft retcon reboot, whatever you want to call it, soft reboot, soft retcon. You know, there are going to be romances. Not just Bunny and Antoine. Yeah, there will probably be Sonic and Sally down the line. We can't deny that. And I'm not going to be surprised if they do pair up. I'm not going to be surprised if Ian does go in that direction with Tails and Nicole. Would he do it with Tails and Amy? Yeah, it might be better, but I think he's going to do Tails and Nicole. Because I think he's got something planned for Amy. I don't know what it is, but something tells me just by reading the previous two issues and the fact that he's making her more like a leader, more of a mature Amy Rose, the one that fans have been wanting to see. And like I said in my review, kind of like the a Sally-like character, not saying she is, but kind of having a little bit of that Sally-like uh, Sally uh, personality. But, you know, blending with her own personality. I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if he has something planned for Amy, and I think he does. He's got something major planned for this character. I feel it. I just know it. He's setting something up for her. We just don't know what it's going to be. But i got a feeling it's going to involve the Sonic Universe comic. Do not be surprised by that. But, yeah, if he goes with Tails and Amy, I'm fine with that. But I think he's going to go the uh, Sally Sonic route, and he's going to go the Tails and Nicole route. I, I just feel it. I, I, just, I just feel it. In my, you know, as a fan in my gut, that he's he's going to do it. Just you know, being a longtime fan, I, I cannot I cannot strive how much I feel that that's where he's going. Just just honest opinion. But again, like I said, I believe this whole story arc is going to come to an end. I, I feel he's going to do this to make up for the fact that his original plans for 275 and 300 came to an abrupt end behind the scenes. I believe. Honestly, though, he's going to try to focus 275 as being the climax and the finale for this whole world-shattering story arc. Because think about it. Yeah, you got to fight. He's got to fight. He's got to have Sonic fight. Sonic and the Freedom Fighters fight Eggman, but he's also got to have Sonic and the Freedom Fighters fight this Dark Gaia. You know. So, and I'm not going to be surprised if this uh, whole thing comes to a com when we finally do get the climaxes and the battles are over and all that. In my opinion, I will not be surprised if we have like everybody that's been affected by this, but once the world gets restored, if you will, or put back together, that we have someone like Gaia and everybody that's been affected by this, just, you know, you're going to have Eggman just getting up. I'm going to be surprised. I wouldn't put this past Ian. You have like this panel where Eggman's just getting up and all of a sudden he looks around and he's surrounded by everybody that's been affected and you see like Gaia, right, some kind of a the dark Gaia or a Gaia character right next to him. I mean, I'll be surprised if you have that kind of panel show up in the in the final in the in the uh, con in the conclusion of the story arc in that issue. 
But this overall story arc, I would not be surprised if we see that parallel. You kind of see Eggman like going like, kind of having that expression like, Ugh, I'm in trouble, ain't I? <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't put past Ian to to do that. But again, that's just my opinion as a fan. Um, overall, though, um, it looks like it's gonna be a great summer, a good summer for the comics. Uh, we get, definitely got build up when it comes to Sonic Boom, thanks to E3 uh, and what we've seen and been announced with uh, throughout the past few months. So that looks good and promising. Uh, we are going to get the Werehog deals. That's looking, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I cannot wait to see what Synopsis and Solicis they give us. So we'll see what we're in store for in the fall season and going into the holiday season. That'll be ni ni uh, nice to look forward to. And again, like I said, I know I sound like a broken record, but I truly believe this whole thing's coming to an end in 275 next year. And that's basically, after this month, you're looking at 14, 13 and a half months almost before that happens. Another year, but it's going to be worth it. So, uh, that's all I'm going to say. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's basically, we'll do it for my... June 2014 monthly opinions on the Sonic, on the Sonic comic and franchise. Um, Sonic was in two parts. Uh, uh, <laughs> time ran out. Uh, my memory got full, so I had to erase another video, but that's okay. I can do that through audio anyway. But again, thank you all for watching and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What's your opinions? And I will talk to you all later. Peace out. God bless.